Welcome back to another episode and welcome to Reflections Tongue Curry. So we're staying here for two nights and we're on a double slab, site D13. So if you're staying here, you want to pick sites D10, 11, 13, D7, 8 and 9 and E16. They are the best sites and they are double slab fully level sites. Apart from that, all the sites in this area are half slab and half shade cloth. So there are two amenity blocks here in the park. They are male and female separated. There's also a laundry, which has a lot of washers and dryers. They are $5 to operate. There's also a really nice communal area in the center of the park. There are two fire pits and there's also a lot of barbecue areas scattered around. There's also some covered picnic areas for you to sit and enjoy a barbecue and a couple of drinks. Adjacent to the barbecue area, there is a nice little herb garden also. There's also an enclosed kids play area within the park. There is another larger kids play area just outside of the park towards the rock pool. They've also got a full size tennis court here. Additional to those double slabs I just mentioned, there's also some good double slabs at the front of the park. They are H4, 6, 7, 10, 16, 17 and 18. They also have a small camp kitchen here. It consists of a fridge, microwave and electric cooktop. It is attached to a nice undercover barbecue area which also has a herb garden. So two direct beach accesses, one on either side of the park. The main beach which the access behind me here is dog friendly and it is off leash. There's the cabins here, the best ones in my opinions are the ones that have the view over the break wall. So this is a great park, there is loads to do here, it is centrally located within Tunkhurry and walking distance to a lot of shops, especially Woolworths. So Woolworths took us about 15 minutes to walk there which was super convenient especially if you have a motorhome. It's also centrally located to the beach and there's an awesome swimming area called the Rock Pool. Near the Rock Pool, there is the Rock Pool Cafe. We went there for breakfast this morning. The coffee was good, the food was okay. Um, nothing to really write home about, but it was nice, super busy. So I can't imagine what it would be like during school holidays or the summertime. So if you're wanting breakfast there, heading there super early, because it does get packed out. So last night we went for dinner in Foster. We caught a taxi and an Uber, which was super convenient. Cost about $12 and took about five minutes to head into there. We had dinner at the Dragon's Den, which I've been there before and it is amazing. And it definitely didn't disappoint last night. We had loads of seafood and some cocktails. So highly recommend if you're into seafood and Asian cuisine, head in there and have some dinner. You won't be disappointed. No, that's good. Try it. No, I'm not going to. Yeah, no, it's good. Eat Nemo. It's not Nemo, mate. It's Nemo's it's kids. It's not Nemo. Have you seen how they squirt them out of their butt? No, I don't. How do they squirt them out of their mate, butt? Mate, they, they squeeze them out of their butt. They don't. Oh, they... They're fish <laughs> eggs and they're delicious. Yeah, they squeeze them out of their butt. So? Just eat what them. What do you mean so? No. They're good. Caviar. People froth it. Just yeah, try it. The scallop, yes, but... No, no, try the caviar. No. It's delicious. Uh, no. They're dead anyway. What's the difference? <laughs> That's Nemo. It's That's even not orange. Nemo. They're not clownfish. It's even orange like Nemo. They're not... <laughs> So we really enjoyed our stay here. It's definitely an awesome spot to come and holiday at. There's loads to do for the kids and adults. Short walking distance to lots of shops. Awesome swimming options, especially if you bring the dog. It's pet friendly. So highly recommend coming here. Foster and Tongue Curry is beautiful.